a lot of those. I save everything. When somebody's done something they shouldn't do, you get, I love you, you know? I know. <laughs> 1967, Philip. And this is a sheet from his piano book. It's Michael in Germany. All of these are Michael. That's his group. He's the firstborn, and Philip is the secondborn. Well, this is a picture he loved. This is a graduation picture. Acting was his great skill. I'm lucky. I remember all kinds of things. And that's Alfie. He's the third son. This is, was really a great production that they did. And that's Alfie and Philip together with Sean, who was at that time three years old. <laughs> Michael, Philip, Alfred, Udell, Sean. All of them were musicians, everybody. I'm Marjorie Elliott. I am a mother, a musician, an actress, and playwright. Sundays were so sad for me. So this sense of purpose takes over. You gotta get this done, you gotta get it ready, you gotta get it clean. The furniture is out, the chairs are brought in, all of that. So you're not crying, you're actively doing something to make sense of everything. And that's part of the healing, of course. My son Philip passed away in 1992, and that gave life to what we do on Sundays. He passed away on a Sunday. My son Michael passed away in 2006. Albert passed away in 2015. When Philip got sick, no, I, I can't handle, I can't scream, I couldn't believe. Your children are not supposed to leave you here. But it happens. You start looking at yourself in another way, and you realize how defenseless you are. And you don't know your strength. You really don't know how much you can handle. I've learned a lot about myself that I can handle it. And we don't ever know what's waiting around the corner. I see you, you're my family once you cross the threshold. I've been so blessed to meet people from all over the world. And I know that I could show up at anybody's house <laughs> and not get turned away and get fed and I could stay over. I know that. And that's what we have to teach our children that we are more alike than not. The skin color, yeah. Language, yeah. That's not it. The heart. Marjorie <laughs> the audience is it come here as family because they've experienced all of that with me. They've wanted to. I'm connected to everyone who comes here. This is a legend. Oh, please. And I feel at home. You are. You're home. You're home. You're home. And my son Sean said, well, we you have your own little Carnegie Hall. Every Sunday, 27 years, the people who come, I think about them, how they are able to hear about this, about me, about my children, my God. If someone takes the time to come to this apartment to hear music and to commune with each other. It's incredible. It strengthens your faith in mankind. The thing I 
always fought against was bringing sadness to them. They've made something really joyous with me of this. Through Delphius, my son, brilliant pianist, in the crib, he jump around, he was very rhythmic. He would never want to stop. But I taught all of my kids. I, I'm the first teacher. Everybody played the piano. It's dedicated to my children. My task is to honor them and make sense of all of it. I know it makes my children happy. I never used the word die. I never, ever used that word. They're with me. You know, they, they are with me and they are happy about this. And I always say that it was always in the cards that I would need it, this art, to translate the pain into joy and celebration.